this is the best trading strategy that you can use right now and make some profits what is up adg traders this is munya and welcome back again to my trading channel as you can see i just made close to 200 dollars trading with this powerful boom and crash trading strategy and i'm going to show you guys how i managed to raise this account from 176 dollars all the way up to 366 dollars making close to 200 dollars in a single trade the first thing that we're going to do is to go to our one hour time frame because we want to look for as many pips as we can get from the market so we're going to be using a higher time frame unlike the previous video where we we're looking at lower time frames where we can just scalp in for a few pips and get out of the trade if you have not seen that video please check out my previous video and see exactly what i'm talking about as this is the continuation of this beginner strategy okay now that we are in our one hour time frame the first thing that we're going to do is to set up our strategy so i'm going to go to my indicator section set up this few indicators that you're going to need and i'm going to show you guys how i was entering into my trades using this strategy so i'm now under my indicator section i'm going to click on main window click on moving average which is our first indicator and this indicator is going to have the following properties we're going to have a period of 14 we're going to have a shift of zero the method is exponential apply to close and on visualization please allow it to be on all time frames although we have agreed that we're going to be using the one hour time frame this is just in case that you want to switch around time frames and then the color for this or the style for this indicator is going to be green okay then once you're done you click on done and as you can see we now have that green moving average right on our charts the next indicator that we're going to need is going to be under our main window again and it's going to be the moving average as well but this time around we're going to have a period of 50 so i'm just going to change that to 50. the shift will be zero the method will be exponential as well apply to close what we have to really change here is the style or the color of this indicator and i'm going to pick the red color for this one so these will be the final properties for this indicator then i'm going to click on done and as you can see we now have the red line as well i'm going to do a video where i'm explaining in depth on these indicators and how you can really take advantage or full advantage of these indicators next we're going to need an indicator window one so i'm going to go back to my indicators click on main chart or main window and i'm going to look for the stochastic oscillator which is right under oscillators right there and this stochastic oscillator is going to have the following properties that you see on my screen basically we have got a percentage k period of one a percentage d period of one a slow slowing of one a price yield of low over high and the method is simple now we have two important levels that you have to make sure that you have on your charts and that is level 20 and level 80 and we've managed to describe these levels our level 20 will be our buy zone and our level 80 will be our sell zone and once you're done you click on done and this time around on your styling please make sure that your main and your signal both have the same color as your background color on your chart so if you notice my background charts are white that's why we have got our main and our signal as white there please that is very important for you to have as we are going to see how this strategy looks like fully installed so once i'm done i'll click on done and as you can see we've got those two zones we have got our cell zone here we have, which we have marked out from level 80 all the way up to 100 and we also have our buy zone from 0 to 20 right there and there's nothing else inside our indicator window one okay we're almost done with installing the strategy last but not least we'll go back again to the indicator section and this time around we'll click on indicator window one and again this time around we're choosing the moving average but this time around this moving average is going to have the following properties we're going to have a period of 10 so i'm going to change this one from 50 to 10. everything else remains the same except of course the style uh, which i'm going to change to black okay and then these will be the final properties that you have for the last indicator and we'll click done now as you can see we have the strategy fully installed we have got our moving averages 
Now what's left is understanding how exactly this strategy works. When do you buy and when do you sell? Okay, so let's dive straight into it. We want to be looking at uh, firstly buy opportunities. So this means that you'll be catching spikes while it's using this strategy as well because right now we're on boom 500 and we're going to be looking at when exactly do you buy and as we all know uh, boom gives uh, uh, bullish spikes okay so the first condition that you have to take note of is we have got three conditions so the first one is we're going to need to have our black line right here in our buy zone that is from the one hour time frame okay so once you see your black line in your buy zone from the one hour time frame this gives you a sense that you're going to be experiencing a long bullish trend that is coming up okay so once you have that black line in your buy, zo buy zone try and look for as many buy conditions or trades as you can because we're most likely going to go up from that situation okay and the second condition is you want to see your candlesticks trading above your green line which is your average price okay so once you see candlesticks crossing to be above your green line like that and closing above your green line, then you know for sure we are bullish. But still, you can't place a trade based on those two things only. You need to have a final confirmation from a lower time frame. Okay? You need to have a final confirmation from a lower time frame. And that third confirmation is going to be when you see that your green line is crossed to be above your red line. So what I like to do is to go maybe to the 15 minute time frame, check where we are currently. And as you can see, we're at this level. And I will see that in my 15 minute time frame, the green line crossed to be above the red line right at that spot. Just after the previous two conditions have been met, which means that at that exact moment, I was able to enter into a buy trade and catch all the spikes that followed after and as you can see uh, our market did push up to a high of that point i did experience some retracement and it did push up again so remember we say this is for those that are going to be holding or swing trading uh and holding for as many pips that as you can uh grab from the market but that was just a simple breakdown of how you can enter into a buy trade using this strategy. Okay, let's take a look at the opposite. How do you enter into a sell trade or what do you look for? Okay, now uh, I'll go back again to my one hour time frame and we will start uh, by looking for some trades. Okay. Right here, we can see that we experienced or we saw that the black line reached our sell zone in our one hour time frame, which means that we now had an idea that there is going to be a bearish momentum, a strong bearish momentum. But nonetheless, we still have to wait for our price action. And like I said, we get our price action from the main chart. And this time around, we want to see the candlestick crossing and closing below our green line which is our average price and once we see that where i marked you can see that the candlestick crossed and closed below the green line indicating strong sell momentum but still we don't want to end on that as it is too risky we want more confirmations so far we have two we have this black line in our sell zone and we have got this red candlestick crossing and going below our green line showing that the average price is reducing because it's closing and crossing below the green line as you can see just to confirm that each and every time the candlesticks were above the green line we were going up which means that when they cross to be below the green line there is some sign of strong sell momentum but nonetheless we need another confirmation so i'm going to go to my 15 minute time frame look for where i've marked that on my price and see if we can get the golden cross that i was talking about and your 15 minute time frame you can see that the green line this time around crossed to be below our red line and this signifies a strong sell momentum and we could have ended a sell trade right at this moment all the way down to this level okay now like i said i'm going to explain the green and the red line the green line is our average price and the red line is our average 
trend remember it is the ema 50 which is basically the average trend that we have so whenever we see our average price which is the green line going below our trend we know that uh we are in a sell momentum and that's exactly what happened right there when we experienced the golden cross okay so this is how you break down boom 1000 uh 2500 sorry uh from a very high time frame we can also break down the boom 1000 in fact and see if this strategy still works uh, on the 1000s okay so right here we can see that there was something interesting uh which we like and obviously you can see that people were anticipating a bullish momentum right here and the market did give that ex as well okay so we'll start off uh i think where the trend actually started in this section you can see that the black line approached our uh buy zone and we said whenever we see the black line in your buy zone there is a chance of a strong bullish momentum that is if you are in your one hour time frame and of course we're going to look at our price action at this stage you would see that candlestick started to cross and close above our green line again signifying that the average price is increasing okay but we still can't use these two conditions only to enter into a buy trade we need the third confirmation which we say is the golden cross we want to see our average price below or above the trend line in this case we want it to be above our trend line okay which is the red line so i'm going to go to my 15 minute time frame look for where we have marked out that trade and see what we got and as you can see right there we got the golden cross following after our price action uh, showed us an indication of a buy trade and the golden cross then came later because right here you can see that it failed to give us the golden cross and it reversed before crossing but right here you can see that it actually managed to cross and be above our red line so our trade was going to start from this level all the way up to that and you can see that you would have managed to catch all those spikes when you were trading boom 1000 okay and the same thing is obviously true if you wanted to enter a sell trade let us look for a selling opportunity okay right here we can clearly see that uh we had our black line in our sell zone okay and that is the first condition the second condition is we started to experience candlesticks cro crossing and closing below our green line showing that the average price is decreasing right and could have gone to the 15 minute time frame or any lower time frame and look for the golden cross basically you want to look for when your price crossed to be below uh your average price crossed to be below your trend and as you can see just above there you had the green line crossing to be below the red line signifying a strong sell momentum and which we jumped into right away so uh you can see that this range works for both uh spike catching and tick trading as long as you are following the conditions correctly and following the steps correctly okay okay so now that you now have all the three conditions that brings us to the end of this video but we will be discussing furthermore on this strategy in our whatsapp platform and if you want to join that platform all you have to do is to subscribe like this video and comment something interesting in the comment section down below and then you take a screenshot and send it to me on my whatsapp number so that i'll be able to have your number and add it to our whatsapp platform okay and my whatsapp number will be available in our free telegram channel the link will be in the description box below all you have to do is click the link in the description box below and it will take you straight to our free telegram channel where you'll be able to join and also see my trading results my students trading results and everything that we are doing at atg okay so remember all you have to do is to subscribe like this video and comment something down below and take a screenshot and i'll be able to add you to our whatsapp platform now in the previous video we mentioned that we're going to be giving away spots in our vip signal group from our comments so i'm going to be picking two random comments and i'm going to be showing them right here on the screen congratulations you guys have won a 
free spot in our VIP signals group, which means that you'll be able to trade with us, Boom and Crash, each and every single day. If you also want to be a winner in the next video, all you have to do is to make sure that you leave your comment in the comment section. Make it interesting and you'll be able to see it much quicker. Until next time.